In today's video, we will be discussing about parts of intraoral X-ray machine. Let's have a look at summarized version of parts of intraoral X-ray machine. So let's discuss about components of intraoral X-ray machine. It includes control panel, the extension arm, tube head. Control panel is the portion of X-ray machine that houses main on and off switch, timer, exposure button, switch to increase or decrease time. This is the control panel. Extension arm. It's a flexible arm connecting the tube head to control panel. Extension arm supports the tube head either with yoke or without yoke. This is the extension arm. And this is the yoke. Thirdly, this is the tube head. Let's discuss about tube head. Tube head consists of two parts, ones which are externally seen and the others internally present. Externally seen consists of metal housing, position indicating device or PID, the angle meter. This is the metal housing. Position indicating device or PID. It's made of plastic or lead. PID shapes the X-ray beams thus preventing it from diverging. More the length of PID, lesser the divergence. The length can vary from 8 inch to 16 inch. This is the PID. Angle meter. Angle meter consists of an hinge movement. It guides the tube head to move vertically with markings ranging from 0 to 80 degree in either directions. This is the angle meter. Let's see the parts present internally in a tube head. It consists of insulating oil, collimator, filter and X-ray tube. Insulating oil. It surrounds X-ray tube and transformer and prevents overheating of the X-ray machine. The space is filled with the insulating oil. Collimator. Collimator is a metallic barrier. Its function is to control the shape and size of X-ray beam so that there is lesser uh, scatter radiation. This metallic barrier, it has a window. As we can see, this is the collimator and this is the window present. When the rays passes the, through this, it controls the shapes and size so that there is lesser scatter radiation. Filter. It helps in removing the low energy X-rays, thus decreasing the patient exposure. Over here, this is the filter. And this is the X-ray tube. Let's discuss about X-ray tube. X-ray tube consists of leaded glass housing, cathode, anode. Leaded glass housing, it is made up of borosilicate lead glass. Its function is to prevent the radiation leakage. It is completely evacuated inside to prevent ionization of air. As we can see, this is the leaded glass, which, it, which covers this entire X-ray tube. But this leaded glass has this window. It's an opening from which the X-ray beams can pass through. Cathode. Cathode has negative charge. It has two parts. One is this tungsten filament and this focusing cup, which is made up of molybdenum. The function of cathode is to generate electrons by tungsten filament and focusing it to anode by the focusing cup. Thirdly, anode which is positively charged. Anode consists of a tungsten target and a an copper stem. 
tungsten target generates x rays from kinetic energy of electron the center area of the target is known as focal spot the function of this copper stem is to dissipate the heat by conduction thank you for watching the video for more videos please like share and subscribe